Hi, I'm John. Uh, I'm going to be making my signature chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Sorry about that. Turn my music way down. I like to really rock out music when I'm doing my baking. It's just something I enjoy doing. Uh, as I started to say, if you're gonna if you're gonna feel good about what you're doing, you want to look good. Well, for me, of course, that involves one of my favorite bands. Uh, I can forgive you if you don't know who the A and M are, but you better know who that is, or you can't call yourself Generation X. All right, let's go look at the ingredients here. Oh, watch out for my baking buddy down here. That's Elron, by the way. He's he likes to hang out with me, see if he can get any butter. And they're kind of goodies like that. He's a cutie, as you can see. Aren't you all wrong? Yeah, you're scaring the crap out of him now. Right, excuse me. Okay. On the table here, I have the... Just laid out some of the items we're going to use. As you can see, we have a couple bowls here. This is my garbage pail bowl, where I'll put all my garbage as we go along. We have butter. We have blue bonnet, which is better than margarine to mix with butter. We have Crisco. Some of my cups I'll need there for measuring. We have my Morena granulated sugar. It is organic, with pure, pure sugar, pure cane sugar. Very, very good stuff. Helps to taste immensely. And one of the things I use that a lot of people don't use in a chocolate chip cookie is dark brown sugar. Most people use light brown sugar. Dark brown sugar gives it a much, much deeper, richer flavor. Then, here's another little trick I throw in. Malt. I've started to measure out, but I'm not done yet. But you, we'll, we'll crush these little babies up to make some really nice, fine powdered malt and chocolate that goes through the cookie great. Uh, you have to use pure vanilla. You cannot use fake. I know it's expensive. This little bottle here of 8 ounces uh, was $24.99. So, it's expensive. The eggs, I prefer extra large. As big as you can possibly get. Uh, my sister's hens, actually, lay these little babies. Brown eggs right off the farm. Very, very good for baking. Then we have, of course, baking soda and salt. Not that important what, what you get here. They're pretty much all the same, as long as it's iodized. The flour is really one of the key ingredients. Uh, I think this is one of the big difference makers in the cookies. Why mine have a tendency to turn out a little better than some others you find. Uh, I use a King Arthur unbleached flour, and it is the absolute best. Trust me. You also want to use good chocolate chips. These are really good. Nestle still makes some of the best stuff, I'm telling you. These are really good. Mini M&M's, one of the things I throw into my cookie as well. Okay, let's get started. Go with step one here. You can take a break if you want there, camera person. <laughs> 